for the chili field. The wind through the window was warm on our shirt sleeves. Already the sky was beginning to hollow out, the clouds rushing toward the rim of the horizon, as if even they knew the sun would soon be the center of a boiling point. The foreman refused at first to hire us, saying I was too young, that it was too late in the day. Most field workers got up at the first wink of dawn. Besides, all the rows had been taken hours ago. He laughed at the huge lunch bag bulging under Nardo's arm, and he said we looked like two kids strolling out on a picnic. Mamos muchachos, aquí hay un curso muy bueno que pueden buscar. After working for two hours, Nardo and I were struggling with the heat. <coughs> I'm gonna get my money and buy me soda. I was very sweaty. I kept coughing and choking. We picked steadily on, but by noon, both Nardo and I were burnt out, with our tongues flagging in the heat and a good sprint away from the nearest picker. Farther up under the clouds, boiling like water on the horizon, a man worked two and three rows apiece. They're white bags. They pick like the goddamn lives depended on it. Maybe that's what we should do. Are you crazy? It'll take us a whole damn day just to fill one last sack. I tried to find the Mexican on the road next to ours, but I didn't see her. I hope she got in away. <laughs>